finally a video on my most used new lippy combos. Here we go. What up, it's your girl Minna. In this video, we are going to be going over five of my most frequently used, loved, adored nude lippy combinations. And the thing about it is that y'all love it too. I always get questions about what they are. So this video is definitely gonna be one for the archives so that I can always be like, take a look at this video, okay? Because literally one of the combos is on my lips right now. And the thing is I, I like to mix and match them. I'll get into all of that in a second. So the first lippy combination, and I had to write them down because there's just so many iterations of them. The first one is the Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain. Okay, the number is number 26. That's the one I love to use as a lip liner. So if you're new, what I love to do is not just use lip liners as a lip liner. I love to use a lip stain as a liner and I'll go over a few. And the number 26 cream lip stain is definitely so beautiful. It's warm. It has some redness to it, which I love. And it's brown. Obviously it's, it's I believe it's called Pretty Auburn. It just looks so good on the skin. Of course, if you wanted to do a nice 90s retro look put it all over the lip I don't like that I like for my nude lippies to be bright in the center that's just what I like so in the center I'll either do a, a color that is a lighter caramel so not a beige per se or maybe a light pink it just needs to be brighter I like an ombre I guess I should have said this already that these are not just one lippy looks these are one, two or three because I like to build it up to something okay so pretty auburn 26 is the brown that I love to put on the outer part of my lip I stop on the outer part I don't fill the entire lip in and then on the inside in this one right here I'm using the same Sephora collection cream lip stain and I like to use both colors 76 and 66 so 76 is gonna give on my skin tone again this is based on my skin tone you may want to use different colors based on your skin tone so 76 is still a nice nude beautiful lip but normally I like to take it up a notch by adding 66 or is it the opposite <laughs> in front of me but you 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 see the b-roll okay the fact is basically if i want to make it a little bit lighter i add on a lighter color if i like the way it looks based on that that makeup look for that day or what i'm wearing or what i'm doing then i may just go with the nude that's not so bright if that was confusing comment and let me know what i'm saying essentially is i can intensify the brightness of the inner part of my lip based on the color that i choose to put in the inner part of my lip so i'll either use both 76 and 66 or i'll just use one of them that's what i'm saying and then when i want to add a gloss which is not always i've learned that i don't like to wear first of all i don't wear glosses very often but there's glosses always have a moment and to be honest i didn't put a gloss on with this lip i almost did i wanted to but i'm gonna eat soon and i just hate eating with gloss i mean if you're like me comment and let me know it just gets so annoying but i hate all the stickiness it's just irritating a nice matte lip is just easy Easier. I literally can get sauce, everything on it and just dab it off and I'm good. And my lippy does not come off. I'm trying to tell you something. So if I want to add gloss to it, I have been enjoying this for a collection, Double XL Nude Lip Gloss. It is so juicy, so beautiful. Still in line with the pinkness that I love to wear as a nude. I understand it's pink, but the combination is a nude combination on me, okay? So another combination that I love to wear is, this one's, this one's new, the Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lipstick. So the color is strong. And then the lipstick that I love to wear is Creative. And like I said, when I tried them on, I was like, uh, gorgeous, hello, hi. Love to wear this one. You'll see some similarities because the gist, like I said in the beginning, is a peachy brown mix or a pinky brown mix. You know, a beautiful nude for brown skin. You understand? Mm -hmm. So another combination that I love to wear is Rare Beauty Kind Words Lip Liners. I have that on today. Like I said, I normally go for a lip stain, but I've been enjoying this lip liner because what I love is that the pencil, it twists up, so it's not a sharpened type situation. And the color is beautiful. It's dry, it's not a shiny lip liner. It is definitely a matte lip liner, it is beautiful. And then I like to pair that with the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lip Color, and it's called Amazonian. Now Amazonian is one of those, like I said, that is 
more on the burnt orange side and it can feel too dark, too dark, meaning not bright enough on my lips the way I prefer. So there have been cases where I have worn it just like that. But then there have been cases where I put on the Kind Words lip liner, I put on Amazonian and I want the inner part of my lip to ombre and be brighter. And then in that case, I may put a lighter lip stain in the middle and then blot it. You see what I mean? So it all depends on what my eye look looks like, what I'm wearing, where I'm going, what vibe I'm going for. And I may brighten up the inner part of my lip or I might leave it. It just depends on how I'm feeling. The fourth option is from Valentino. So Valentino has given us these sexy, beautiful, refillable lipsticks, okay? Okay, so there was confusion because I couldn't tell what the names of the lipsticks were. Apparently they go by numbers, okay? I didn't know that. I'm like, could you have told me? You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna list the numbers down below, obviously. So literally all the products I'm mentioning are gonna be in the description box, but I like to use the brown one as a lipstick. Again, outlining the lip, but filling it in more so that when I blend it, it creates an ombre. So I'm not just making literally a pencil line no ma'am let the outline of the lip be a little bit thick in my opinion this is what I like to do and then on the inside I'm using a lighter Valentina lipstick again numbers will be below and that blending it together like this definitely makes the lip look beautiful. These lipsticks are creamy, they're soft, they don't dry down completely, so they're not matte in that way, but they're creamy and soft and great if you don't like a fully dry lip. I love a matte lip. I always prime my lips. I have no issues with the matte lip making my lips too dry. I wear matte lips all the time. But if you want a more creamy finish, then these are definitely a good option for you because it's Valentino, honey. And they're refillable, okay? So sustainability, hello. And they're comfortable, it's sexy, and again, it's Valentino, okay? Praise the Lord. And then the last one that I'm always wearing is the Lip Bar Savage. Y'all killed this when I did the reel on IG. Oh my goodness gracious. The Lip Bar Savage, honey, it is a beautiful, beautiful color. It's a warm brown, almost like an auburn chocolatey color. It's delicious. It's matte. Again, you can wear that by itself if you want a 90s chocolate lip. I love to wear it as a liner. Again, make the liner thick, bring it into the lip. Lips, and then on the inner part of it, I've been killing Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. These names kill me. The matte ink one and the color Poet, and that's literally what I have on today. The color Poet, it is so beautiful. It is a light pink. It can look very stark, okay? So that's why with the outer part, the outline of the lip, I do a lot of blotting before it dries completely. Gotta blot intensely to get the brown on the outside to blend in with the pink so that it looks more natural, beautiful. Natural meaning it, it, it fuses together beautifully so that it doesn't look like outline inside. It just needs to look like, oh, here we are. Do you get what I'm saying? So those are my five nude lip combos that I have been in love with for the longest time. It'll grow, of course. I literally have been loving lipsticks by Give Beauty, Gwen Stefani's brand at Sephora. There are just so many, but those are five. Links are always in the description box down below. Make sure you look at those. If you're not already, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and Pinterest because when I'm not here, I am there. Subscribe, thumbs up the video, and let me know which, if any of these you have. Do you have any of the products? I wanna know. And also, what are your favorite lippy combinations that are nude? I'm always shopping for a nude nude honey I, listen i love me a good nude i used to always wear bright lippies and these days i'm always wearing something nude so let me know down below and i'm gonna see you in my next video bye